Well, you know, we know what it's like. Hopefully you're uh, familiar as well with the joy that a, a dog or a cat can bring no matter what kind of day that you've had. There is absolutely no better feeling than seeing that furry little face that's so glad <laughs> to have you home. Oh, unconditional love. And if you don't know what we're talking about, perhaps you may want to consider adding to your family, and this is the perfect weekend to do it. Joining us today to tell us more about an upcoming Adopt-a-thon is Soraya Signorina, Executive Director of the Caroline County Humane Society, and you have with you, oh no, <laughs> this is Jackie. Oh, Jackie, she's, she's a little, little camera shy, shy isn't she? Hi Jackie. Hi, Jackie. Hi, Jackie. She's been so good sitting there, so nice. Now, you have a lot of dogs and cats that need adopted out, obviously. We do. We do. We're hoping for a nice big turnout on Saturday. Help us out. We have, we have about 40 dogs, I'm approximating, and we have coming close to 200 cats. 200 oh cats all need a new home. They do. Now, Lisa and I both have pets, and <gasps> it, it can be so rewarding. Uh, there's nothing like it. I mean, you, it's not very many places you can find unconditional love, and there's nothing warmer than a cold nose. <laughs> 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 now, tell us a little bit more about the upcoming Adopt-a-thon you're having. Uh, this so is the first year, isn't it? This is the first year. We're looking for a great turnout. We have a ton of awesomely wonderful animals. Um, it'll be Saturday from, from 10 to 2 down at the Humane Society in Ridgely on West Bell Street and we're going to have free food and the cats are 100% free and we're not free meaning free. These cats are, are not your newspaper ad cat kittens for free which you wind up spending hundreds of dollars on vet bills. They're coming completely vaccinated, microchipped, clean ears, clipped claws. Spayed and neutered? Spayed and neutered. Everything? Everything. 100% okay, free. Speaking, speaking of spaying and neutering, that's, that's, that's pretty important. <laughs> That is hugely important. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jackie is hiding. Jackie, it's okay. Come on, be It's okay. <laughs> so yeah, the Spay and Neuter program that we have, I mean, it's nationwide, that is absolutely a huge initiative amongst all shelters. Uh, the Spay and Neuter programs are available at, a, at low cost of free. Usually we have a free service that will completely spay and neuter any cat or dog that you have that you want to bring in. and definitely helps, uh, helps out our numbers a lot. And wow. in addition, you're asking for some help with your pan pet pantry program? Yeah, we have a pet pantry program. A lot of times we have people in the community that just simply in, in the hard times that we're in cannot take care of their pets anymore and it's heartbreaking to think that they have to get rid of a family friend, a family member that uh, because they just simply can't afford to feed them. So we've partnered with local businesses who have donated food for us and we have a we have a huge amount of food available to the community so you do not have to drop off your animal. We can, we'd be happy to help you feed them. Oh, and wow. Jackie is perfectly happy behind that pillow. Yeah, she's... <laughs> but now Jackie is up for adoption. Now this is the first event that you've had like this kind. It th is. That you're having. Yes, it is. Like mm -hmm. this. Tell us more about it, when it is, where it is. So Saturday from 10 to 2 at the uh, Caroline County Humane Society in Ridgely. Uh, we're at uh, on West Bell Street. And uh, welcome to come by, bring your kids. We'll have some activities. Um, for more information, you can call us at the shelter at 410-820-1600. And it's 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. All right. And we will be available after that if you'd still like to come and look at the animals. All right. You know, Jackie, it's okay. Sometimes Jimmy wants to hide behind that Very pillow as well. I just can't get behind it. Yeah. <laughs> if anybody would like to go online to fill out an application, uh, we can get the applications processed before Saturday so that when you fall in love with one of our animals, you can it's bring them right home. Done. What we're going to do is we will put that link on delmarvalife.com. Oh, thank you And so be much. able to go straight to that and find Great. out more. Absolutely. Thank you so much for joining us thank you this for afternoon, having Soraya. Thank you, and Thank Jackie. So it's almost <laughs> over, Jackie. And from one great cause to another, and this one gets you out of your kitchen. It's the second annual culinary tour, how you can get involved to help patients at PRMC. But first, antioxidants can do so much to better our health. And here's a few Dr. Oz says you should try to work into your diet. Hi, I'm Dr. Oz. Antioxidants are nature's most powerful compounds. Create a rainbow in your diet with this checklist. Red foods like raspberries and pomegranates slow tumor growth. Purple foods like grapes and blueberries fight heart disease. Yellow and orange foods like lemons and apricots reduce wrinkles. And green foods like broccoli and kale help prevent breast cancer. 